We've got uh, Bruno calling in from Uruguay, pronouns he, him. Wants to talk about uh, uh, when people talk about a belief in science. Bruno, you are on AXP. How are you doing today? I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking, Forrest. Uh, I just wanted to like do a quick call and talk to you guys about this because uh, I've been binging the show a bunch and uh, you kind of get close to talking about it, but I haven't found this particular topic yet, at least in the backlog. And it's come up in different uh, discussions I've had with people. And so I wanted to know what you guys thought of maybe not saying so much, oh, I believe evolution is real or I believe in the Big Bang or something like, oh, I trust this is real or I have confidence that this is real because, you know, I, I think it's more appropriate language given that like trust and confidence like can be revoked. And that's kind of how science works, you know, like if something new comes up, you kind of like, okay, what was before is gone now or is changed and now you trust in this new thing. I don't know. I, I just could want to kind of get your thoughts on that. So yeah. what, what are you attempting to do by removing the word belief from being used in science? Because it seems like a perfectly good word to me. Well, from what I've seen, at least, is that like uh, a bunch of like religious people just kind of take belief as like, oh, this is like something I feel in my heart, and this is like it has to be true because I feel it's true, and I and I believe that that uh, doesn't matter what the evidence shows. I believe this is true, and that's like, oh, you believe in science, you have like this uh, uh, this this uh, uh, unwavering belief in science that means that uh, you will always say you will always trust in what the the scientists say and that kind of thing. And so I, I feel yeah. like it's, it's like a word that can get a little bit hazy. It is. I mean, uh, words are fun, and they can mean whatever we want them to mean, ultimately. <laughs> um, but some people, you know, that's also why we try and draw a distinction between belief, belief and faith. Um, belief at its simplest is just an acceptance of a, a claim is true. Um, whether you have sufficient evidence to warrant belief is, is a completely different question. Um, but in, when most people do that, they're really referring to faith. And unfortunately, if you look at both definitions, uh, you'll find that they are incredibly close together um, in modern parlance, that they are, are synonyms. Um, so yeah, language is messy, um, but I don't know that it would be less messy by trying to introduce a, a new word um, because theists would just adopt that word as well. Uh, I think that's why it's important to clarify, you know, is, is your method of, of determining something true a valid way to determine something is true? Is there anything that I can't believe in my heart to be true? For instance, uh, my usual rebuttal of that is, is it possible for me to believe in my heart that you're nothing more than three gerbils in a human suit? And, you know, that's, that's usually my rebuttal. Yeah, I think it's really important to like point out like, because I, I am one of those people that gets a little bit nitpicky because I, I understand where you're coming from, Bruno, is that like, I, I get that all the time. Like, you just believe what your professors told you. You just believe what somebody wrote in an old book someday. You just believe you have this faith in science. And like Jim was saying, these are really synonymous terms in our language. And so people tend to lump them together, especially for shitty reasons. So for me, I try to draw a distinction and say, I don't believe in science. I have evidence for science or I have this logical expectation of science. Like, I don't believe that the sun is going to rise tomorrow. I have a logical, reasonable expectation that the sun is going to rise, not because it's happened every day so far, but because I understand the rotation of the planet and because I understand our position in the solar. Like, and when I do that, though, it, it really, really, really gets pedantic very fast. And it gets into this really just sticky, semantic way. I like to say that, like, belief is accepting a claim. Knowledge is when to, to, you, you, you have so much reason to believe a claim that it would be absurd for you not to believe in it. So, like, I know that this is a can of Coca-Cola. I, to, 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 so how do you know anything? It would. What I mean by no is that it would be ridiculous for me to say that it's anything else besides that. So going ad absurdum, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to say that I know this like that. You can really get into the, the things, the weeds with it. Um, but at the end of the day, I promise theists will come up with another terrible argument. If, if they, I, I find that they kind of go in a cycle and uh, that is one that comes up all the time. You just believe science. And then I'm like, no, I know it. 
well, how do you know anything? What does it even mean to know anything? And like, you can't know anything is real unless you have some sort of almighty authority that gives you the knowledge. You're like, you can't know anything is, uh, is certain unless you have one thing that is absolute to compare all certainty to, and that is God. And so without God, you can't know anything or like all, all of these ridiculous things. And that's why like most people who do shows like this or do a debates like this, are prepared to give a really, really obnoxious, pedantic, <laughs> just ass painting fucking answer about like what <laughs> does knowledge actually mean and what does belief actually mean. But at the end of the day, um, I just just don't get your hopes up is what I'm saying. If if you want my answer for a different word besides belief, I usually use evidence. I usually define belief in those ways. But I promise you, it is not going to change anything in the long run in terms of like theists being dishonest about words. It's, it's just not going to help. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I definitely get that. It's kind of an uphill fight. And I just, uh, I, I feel like belief that, and, and like that word particularly is very charged with like religious overtones lately. And I see like yeah. uh, theist scholars use it all the time. And it really frustrates me because it's, does it mean what you think it means kind of thing, you know? So yeah, yeah it's the same thing as when people say it's that. just a theory. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, that's it's, it's the same thing. Yeah, kind of <laughs> yes. Okay. So you don't know what a theory is then. Great. Like, that's, uh, that, thank you for right. telling me. It's the same thing when, when somebody calls in and says like, oh, you just believe in science. Okay. So you clearly don't agree with what the word belief means because either you're using it in this weird way intentionally to be an asshole or you genuinely don't understand this word because you would never use that word that way any other time that you use that word. You would never use it that way. <laughs> and so, like, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's deeply frustrating. It's just, just another dishonest theist argument where if I spin this in this weird way, then I can make a problem for an atheist. But if I think, of, I, and so I just, I will deliberately not think about it that way for me, because then it'll be a problem. But if I think about it this way for somebody else, then it is a problem for that other person. And it doesn't matter if I win. It only matters if they lose. That's all that it is. That, that kind of thing. It just, God, it sucks, dude. I once had, I just said, God, it sucks. Yeah, and I, I, I just remind in that vein, I did an, I did an interview once. I think it was on Seth Andrews's channel. Once I did a thing with him uh, and there was a theist in the comments whose only argument was to point out every single time I said things like, God knows what this was, or like, Oh my God, I don't know. Or like anytime I said the word God, they would point it out and say, see, 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 you really do believe you really that's that's why you're saying that. And uh, I had a boss once who did the same thing. I say I, I said something along the lines of Oh, my God, he's like, why do you say that if you don't believe? Why? Why would you say it? Because clearly secretly, I'm like, dude, if I said, holy cow, would you think I'm a Hindu? Fuck off. Like, you know what I mean? So like, that's, there's, there's always going to be some sort of like bullshit, rhetorical or a, a, a semantic argument. Um, so I, I think what you're calling about today and what you're talking about it's really good to know how to do that and to see the comment section ahead of time, but do not be surprised when the next bullshit argument rolls around because it yeah. will. Yeah. 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 I, I, I definitely think that like the, uh, the, the saying, Oh my God, you said, Oh my God thing is like the lowest tier of apologetics ever. <laughs> like it's really just an appeal oh, to, to the, okay. like the, the uh, yeah, that pointing out that we use me and AD. Actually, it's, it's, it's a pretty weak one, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah, using yeah, AD. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of a lot of those um, seven day week guy yes. uh, using exactly. That's, common yeah. phraseology. Oh, yeah, that one was. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the worst. No, yes. that one was really frustrating to hear. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the, the English bulldozed their way across the planet and brought their religion with them and killed everybody who didn't convert. Therefore, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That's almost sure. true. <laughs> <It'd be> true. <laughs> yeah. Probably closer to true if it was Spanish. <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man. No offense to Spanish anyway. speakers out there, but if you're in South America and you speak Spanish, there's a reason for that. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Gosh. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Bruno, you're yeah, awesome. Thanks for calling I do speak in. Spanish, and it gets it gets pretty tough. 
Yeah, the Spanish is, is such a beautiful and eloquent language with so many problems. And I say that as an English speaker with way more problems. <laughs> so, so like I, you know. I, I, I will say that as someone who has tried to uh, localize languages for software. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Spanish is actually the hardest to do. Yeah. It's harder than English yeah. because um, things like Senora uh, and Doña will change meanings depending on where you are. Um, mm -hmm. They can be an honorific or the equivalent of uh, a, a, a derogatory, depending on where you are. Yeah. So, well, there's there's uh, more, more. There are more people in the world who speak Spanish than English. There's there's so many Spanish speaking uh, countries, and like I, it's, 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 it's that way all the time. Like the, this thing that means this thing in Venezuela is going to mean something completely different in Chile. That's going to mean completely different in Cuba. The the guy. I'll ask you, Bruno. Uh, what does the word chevre mean to you? Uh, well, I, I, I know what it means because I have a, like a co-workers that are from different countries here in Latin America, but it basically, basically means cool, I think, from what yeah. I've heard at least. Yeah, yeah. so, so like, that's, oh, that's, that's, that's really why I learned it thing, too. You know? yeah. I, I learned Spanish from a guy who yeah. uh, from, from Cuba, um, uh, and Chevre was his way to say cool, and he said it to me, and I've said it so long now that it's just second nature. And I said that to some dude, I forgot where he is from. I think he was from like Guatemala or something. He's like, why would you... Why would you say that's it's it's like you just said like neato or like groovy. It's just such a really outdated like why what is oh, that? Yeah. Like it's, that's a thing that's like yeah. hanging with your grandpa is a chevre thing to do. It's just, it doesn't mean anything like that. And the same thing I learned the word um uh disculpe to, to mean like excuse me. And my Spanish professor in college is like, did you kill mm -hmm. someone? Why did you say it that way? Like that's 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 really intense. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's very formal this could be here in, in your way also. Yeah. I would yeah, I would say yeah, that Spanish is, is beautiful in the same way like a birth is beautiful. Like yeah, it's it's really amazing. Yeah. Damn, you know, it's very complicated yeah. and it, it can get painful sometimes, yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Oh man. Anyway, but thank you so much, Bruno. I'm so I will sit here and talk about languages all day as well. You do we have a show. We have a show to talk about RNA and language. It'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> you should do that. I see episodes yeah, coming up in the future there. <laughs> yeah, dude. Anyway, Bruno, you're a rock star. Thanks so much for calling in, dude.